how they've just been in roads already and it's that change that has brought up some a little bit of impact if I should say go home just going off for a kid who started in that game that one zero loss to Cote d'Ivoire it should be a potent attack to give some heading to the centre back pair of Idris and also Bafa who have been on the virtual holiday in the first body far. It's a free kick and the first of its kind in the second half it goes to the Benidorm, Captain Angelo. Jones one back is blocked by the wall, Sabo was in there and clears out. Starting the uh, second half quite on the positive note. Gonna maintain their composure and possession. Ernest gives the ball away and then eventually is driven into enemy territory. Ernest involved in that game went down, advantage says the referee. Ernest is scoring. Yo uh, Ayamba, two key players, rely on going through the middle. Opportunity for Ghana as they come forward. Yes, Nabi brings it back. Oh, this place pass. I'm disappointed from him. Nabi, his quality should be doing better. Or Rose over the line then, Benidua could not keep it in play. And over the last couple of minutes, the numbers here at the University of Ghana Sports Stadium keeps increasing. I guess the, the good news is spread out there. The need now, Ghana 2. Yeah, I'm going to foot to it. I guess it was a bit of a foot up. I'm not really speaking in this absolute sample. But whenever he's been called into action, he's really done so well with his own play. Earlier on, we saw that Dabi, that freed Nami at the left hand side. Nami, oh, Nami goes down. A little bit of an obstruction there. Was just about getting ready to turn off. That's what he is about, Nami. Very pacey, skillful. Just look at that hand leg, which he is. Go around his marker, but he need to put him on the ball more often because every single time he's been on the ball, something delightful has occurred to Ghana. Ghana in total control at the stage for his flick, and he gives the ball away for some who could get to it. Throw into Ghana, and it's Bilal Ajibi. With the throw. Nicely done in defense by Benny as they get the ball away. And over the line for a throw. They keep misplacing their passes. Benny. They've had very little possession in this game. And in football, you only have the power when you have the ball. You only can score with the ball. They need to start trying to find men. Get close up here, but come back to whenever they attack and attack with more men. Coming the men forward. Goalkeeper Ghana with the ball. Oh, eventually he pushes it too hard again. And fortunately enough, for the third or the fourth time, he's lucky and it will come forward. It's a shot on target by the captain. Bounces off Ama. The rebound took a deflection. The beginning to feel complicated. Started. We really need to be careful. Yeah. Two words they should guard against complacency and overconfidence. And that's exactly how they are feeling now with that display. Just look at that low pressure. Bafa with the ball to Aram. Sides to go past. Achiba, just look at that. It's very, very fortunate that Zanu just could really get a full grip of the ball. Yeah. Or if he gets a potent striker in front of him, these mistakes. Ball not one punished. Ghana come forward. It's a very long ball. A strong run. They can keep it in play. He does so very well, Nabi. Very unassuming, but when he takes off, he's very fast. Joseph Nabi. Just so clear. Yeah. One, two, by Ghana. Sapo goes down. Gets the ball though. Chasing Freitas is leading. 
And then Danny Moore comes in, he's showing how strong he is, he lays on the pass through the middle. And it's Ajifi Bilal to the rescue. He definitely is covering himself in glory, Ajifi Bilal, from the Makrobi Banana in Football Club. Just put on defense. Very, very good offensive. Full back as well, Ajifi. This very, very compact partnership with the back line of Bafa and Ejusu. All together with the left full back is the Mohamed of uh, Still Believe. They have kept the flanks boiling with action. the way back to Kachikolo, sends a long one in, nicely brought down. Okay, the issue in one place on the left foot, the left to foot football at this stage. Sandu with a trap, with a wonderful trap. Again, even an accurate pass has been the issue for Benin. That has, believe me, the Ghanaians not feel the pressure. Yes, Angelo sent it all the way back, trying to hold it in check there, that did not work. They did have a lot of trouble, eventually it is uh, a shaft who goes down. Free kick advantage to Benny. A shaft with Saban behind the ball. And the referee has a quick word. Uh, two players on the field of play. He wants fair play, he says. Ashraf was long ball in. Not that nicely, but referee says that uh, challenge was uh, illegal. And so we'll give the advantage to Benny. And Mr. Flory has been very busy in the game. It's quite aggressive from him. Whenever he moves out of position, to press and win the ball, he, he never makes a mistake. He makes sure that it's either he wins the ball or just you know concede a foul. So Benin making a lot of incursions in this uh, second half. Bilal once again. Bilal wins the advantage and sympathy of the referee freaky quickly effective. Yeah, it looks like the starlets may have taken their foot off the pedal for a while. Coming forward now. Good work done. Hamza Ibrisu has also been stalwart in defense. Hamza the young player from Matram de Visa. Nabi has been set loose again this time the many one. No, not in chances. It's a throwing to Ghana. Nabi and Akibo is very much wary of the trend. He poses. You have to keep it simple without clearance. Throwing to Ghana, temporary halt. Again, okay, referee takes the opportunity to issue out a stern warning. Here we go with the throw. It's kicked over the line, indicating a corner kick for Ghana. I think that's the right call for the referee. And again, I tend to agree with you, uh, just, uh, we've not seen Steel Believes uh, Sapo in full effect in this game. He's been in the, uh, some tight corners and has a uh, few half opportunities, but clearly not seen him yet. Here comes the corner king. And again, the referee will have to be very steady. Building nicely. Goalkeeper does very well. Kachakolo tipping it over the top. Trending series. Out on the Expertly taken by Benjamin Chivan. How would I mean the goal of the tournament? Trending series. A tournament contender. Ajiri straight from the corner kick. Talk about it. 
tempo from the starlet and it's just similar to how they started the game the first uh, we saw them off the pace for a while then when they just stepped on first gear they moved to first gear it was a different story Ayanka lays on the pass look at middle as an opportunity for Nabi Joseph gets to it oh clearly clearly that was an offense he's asking for me by the player Nabi is asking for the yellow card, but the referee isn't, sure. by, isn't buying any of that, but what about yeah, that for a well. pass? And just look at Nabi, just one touch and the second was just to go past Trending stories. Osaka with so much ease and with this diminutive body shape, you can see how quick he can move in tight spaces, those spaces you don't even imagine he could just use to his advantage and that has been his biggest strength. Well it's a free kick to Ghana. Everybody thought that the referee was going to show a card. He hasn't. <laughs> Having a quick exchange there with uh, Angelo, the captain of uh, Benin. Anyway, it's a free kick. Advantage Ghana. Benjamin Chivano has been taking almost all the set pieces. Have made the step warning as well. <laughs> but the Benin are complaining that the Ghanaians are overshadowing their wall. Benjamin Chivanu with a free kick. He drills it, but he goes well over the top. Chivanu really struggle on the right hand side that was a good bend on the ball again we didn't get that one on target earlier on it was a corner which was on target it was the same this time he wouldn't force it a save at all and he have only two players in contention there the ball is blasted away from them kept in play by his team his team is dispossessed oh lovely skill he goes through two players he goes down Nambi picks it up Advantage will not come the way of the Black Starlets. Ayanga beats one. Still holding on to it. Will do well to get the ball away from that spot. Other players on the fringes were waiting to latch on to any pass. It's deep. It's deep. Just could not get the ball. Okay. Kind of forced error. Ayanga trying to combine with his deep. out of uh, that defensive uh, situation by Papa. He has the advantage now, he has the captain, Angelo. Consistency from Angelo, the captain of uh, Benini Place for the Kafo Academy in uh, Benin. Ayanga. Nabi. Ayanga. It's a bit too far-fetched for Nabi. He obviously would not get to the ball. Again, communication, an issue for the Starlet. You can see Nabi taking off at so much space in front of him. Just was expecting an accurate pass into space from Ayanga. Once again, overhead that one. They've been inconsistent with the way they build up. Sometimes communication has been an issue for them. As you say, it's a young team, the Starlet. Just wondering what the head coach will have to say after this performance. Sixty minutes played in the match is Benny Nil Ghana two. Supporters doing their own thing. Et oui, je pense qu'on vient de jouer, bien sûr, l'heure de jeu. Si vous voulez mon avis déjà par rapport à l'heure de jeu, 60 minutes de jeu déjà joué euh, dans cette rencontre euh, Bénin, euh, Bénin Ghana. Et on voit que bon, l'équipe béninoise manque cruellement d'envie. Vous voyez, même les quelques occasions qu'ils pouvaient concrétiser des erreurs. Gagner un principal là, il jette les ballons. Et, bon, ça joue à la barbale. Vous voyez, et des erreurs. 
euh, bien sûr, même du gardien ghanéen, on pouvait profiter pour pouvoir marquer, mais on ne marque pas. Et vous voyez, on est à 2-0 à 60 minutes à l'heure de jeu. Je vais sortir la vidéo à l'heure de jeu, à la fin de la rencontre aussi. On va couper un peu, un peu les vidéos pour qu'elles ne soient pas trop longues. Ce qui est sur 60 minutes déjà, 2-0, les gagnants mènent. Euh, bon, je verrai comment je vais vous faire suivre les buts. Voilà l'entraîneur béninois. Euh, vraiment, les gagnants maîtrisent, ils maîtrisent leur sujet. Donc, on se dit à tout à l'heure pour la suite, bien sûr, de ce match.